Good evening, everyone. My name is Arnie Sandberg, Jr., and I've been blessed to be raised by a man who you all call a colleague, a mentor, and a friend. I know he's done some pretty amazing things for this industry, but what I'm most proud of him for is the example that he set for me. Growing up, he taught me the meaning of perseverance, that when things get tough, the only way through it is to go through it, that a smart man learns from his mistakes, but a wise man learns from others' mistakes. He taught me the power of a positive mindset and personal development. He taught me how to put God first and care for people in ways I've never seen before. He's been my biggest cheerleader and my biggest inspiration, and for that, I'm forever grateful. Please help me welcome my dad into the Hall of Fame, Arnie Sandberg Sr. Thank you, son. Everyone knows Teresa's rules. That's uh, don't go off script. I live, I live by rule number one, screw the rules. Rule two, see rule one. All right, all right, Teresa, don't worry. It's the exact same thing. First and, first and foremost, good evening all, and thank you for allowing me to be up here, and congratulations to my fellow inductees who are so deserving of this achievement. I'm honored, humbled. This one's going to be a tough one and in awe of being recognized for this incredible award. When I was asked about being nominated, I said no. I'm not in the same realm as most of the people who have gotten inducted or even close to the same level as the other people being inducted this evening. I'm just a supplier to the industry. It was then that Michael Flynn mentioned what I had been involved in personally and professionally. My loving wife, Jill, who we all know everyone likes better, <laughs> explained why I should accept the nomination. Never did I fathom that the committee would select me for this incredible honor of being in the Candy Hall of Fame. In my wildest dreams, I wouldn't have thought that the name Salvatore would start this marvelous career and friendships I have been blessed with. If it wasn't for a conversation with Sal Ferrara at the House of Blues in May of 2000, I may have had to take a career path of being, <laughs> being an Oompa Loompa in the remake of Wizard of Oz. <laughs> it's been a great journey and there are so many people I could thank, but I will keep it short like me so I don't get the hook. First, I want to say my, thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, because if it wasn't for his grace, on March 13, 2008, I wouldn't be here today. Thank you, Michael Flynn, for nominating me and our many conversations leading to a yes decision in Vegas over coffee. Knowing there are people who are far more deserving this in my eyes, I want to say a heartfelt say thanks to the committee for this honor. A special thank you goes to Teresa, the birthday girl, and her team, you put together another incredible event. Without all of you, none of this would have happened. You're an incredible person, woman, triathlete, and I'm fortunate to call you a friend as well. Alana Ferrara, thank you for all of your support, encouragement, and friendship. Our chats at Sweets and Snacks earlier this year meant a ton and it put me at ease of being up here. Your dad will always be in my heart for his direction at the start of my career. Hans, who we all know and love, thank you. I'm so grateful and have much love for you. You were pivotal in my career with helping me and the team stretch beyond what we thought was possible. For our fast has become the norm because of you and has provided incredible results with all of our customers. The Friday afternoon, Arnie, it's Hans and Joe, calls are missed. Thank you for all you have done for me and the industry and thank you for being such a great friend. Brandon and Fran, over the many years we have known each other, you have allowed us to be part of some amazing projects and have taught me many lessons of doing business with you as well as Ferrara. Still love the old school trust of doing business on a word and a handshake. I love you both and I've been so grateful to know you. Do business with you and break bread with you on occasion, even if Fran's mouth ends up on fire. Ask them about the gambler, you'll understand. Thank you to all of my family and friends who trekked here with us. It means the world to me, I love you all, thank you. I know my parents are looking down on me and smiling. Thanks, Dad, for teaching me how to sell anything and everything under the sun at swap meets. I'll never forget shoestrings, shoestrings, ten cents a pair, put them in your shoes or wear them in your hair. To my hero, incredible mother who sacrificed so much for kids, thank you for showing me what true work ethic is unconditional love. I miss and love you. To my son, AJ, I'm so grateful to have you here. You've grown into a wonderful man. I'm so proud to be your dad and Charlie's grandpa. There's been nothing more rewarding than to have the title of AJ's dad and grandpa. You have an incredible future ahead of you, and I know Nana and the Lord are in your corner every day in every way. Always remember the words of Ross Thorne as Charlie grows up. You will never be a prophet in your own home. You're just dad. I love you, son. 
Lastly, but not least, is my beautiful and loving wife, Jill. Without you, without the love and support of this incredible redhead, none of this would have been possible. Jill, I fell in love with you at first sight. You're my best friend, my sounding board, my, co my coach, the calm in the storm of my tantrums and frustrations, my rock, and the love of my life. I can't imagine a life without you. Thank, for every thank you for everything you've done for me and our family. I love you, and with all my heart, I'm so grateful that God gave me the privilege to be your husband. Thank you all for being here and for allowing me to be part of such an amazing industry. With, we pray God continues to bless you all. Thank you.